Hi, my name is Trace. When I started making YouTube videos, it didn't take me long to realize that the microphones on cameras like this were incapable of making good quality recordings, especially from the distances I need to place the camera to frame my shots. And on some cameras, the microphones face upwards and away from me. This is to reduce wind noise when recording outside. To get around this, most of us make a simultaneous audio recording with separate recording equipment with the microphone close in while we're recording the video. Right now, I'm recording with the camcorder about four feet away. And at the same time, I'm recording audio with this blue spark about a foot away and out of camera shot plugged into a Zenix 802 mixer that's recording into a Zoom H1. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of replacing the audio track in a video file with the better audio track from your recording equipment. This process is essential to getting the best audio possible in your video productions. Let's get to it. These are the two files I recorded from the camcorder and the Zoom H1. This one is from the camcorder. It is a MP4 with a video track and a stereo audio track. And this one is from the Zoom H1. It is a stereo wave file. Now what we're going to do is replace the audio file in the MP4 with the wave file from the Zoom H1. To do this, we're going to need what is called video editing software. I'm using Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13, but this process is the same for any software that supports multiple audio and video tracks. Anything on the track is called an object or clip, and they can be grouped and edited. The first thing we need to do is import the video file from the camera into the software. Now we can see the video and audio objects on the track. The audio object shows its waveform. Next, let's import that wave file that we're going to replace that audio object with. Now we can see its waveform in a separate track in the software. Let's expand the software window and remove this extra video track and expand both audio clips so we can see their waveforms in detail. Now that we can see both waveforms clearly, let's align them to as close to each other as possible using the mouse, cursor, and scroll functions of the software. Once we're satisfied with their alignment, let's group all three clips together. Now all three clips are locked together in alignment. Next, we delete the track with the original sound clip in it. The last thing we're going to do before rendering is line up the edges of the clips. At this point, we can combine or render this project into a new video file with the new audio. However, 
Now is a good time to edit out all of the parts of the clips that we don't want and make adjustments to them. Here is the project edited and with the volume of the audio adjusted. And here are those clips with everything I've added to this project. I will render this into the video that you're watching now. That's it, easily one of the most important video editing processes and one of the few ways to get the best audio for your videos, voiceovers, and soundtracks. Thanks for watching, good luck with your projects in 2016, and we'll see you next time.